hello and welcome to the show. Today I am back with another classic racing game. This time it is Groove Rider. This is a slot car racing game. Now I'm a big fan. Any any game that lets you play around with remote control cars I like, or toy cars I like as well. And this looked, well, quite interesting. Uh, to me, I have very quickly, I played through I think, the first championship level just to make sure that the game was working uh, and everything. So I have had the briefest of experiences with it and so far I'm actually quite enjoying it. We've only got the three volt category unlocked for now. We have got some British classics. Uh, Eagle, uh, no, hold on. Uh, can we, we can select you. Okay, that's fine. I was a little, <laughs> a little, a little bit confused that the top one is... Lock? I don't quite know. It's not really loading up the pictures particularly well. I'm going to go with Eagle. I think it's a Caterham look-alike. We can't go to Bedroom yet, so we're going to do the Dining Room Championship. Uh, I don't know. I, I did this championship. This is what I played through uh, to unlock the, the first of the British cars, or the category of British cars. So I don't know if this is going to be the same championship, whether it randomly selects tracks or not, because uh, I haven't unlocked the next one. I don't know if I have to. I came second, I think, overall in the championship. I might have to win it to uh, to progress. Now, one of the difficulties when it comes to making a racing game about slot cars is that, well, you kind of don't have... I say you don't have a huge amount of control. Uh, you generally have a throttle, and, and that is a that is about it, right? So this is the same, the same championship that I've done before. I might stand a chance. I might vaguely remember the circuit. Um, yeah, you kind of have a throttle. You don't have to worry about any steering per se. I have played a couple of, uh, of slot car games. What this one here does very cleverly is it allows you to jump lanes, which is helpful in terms of, uh, of overtaking. Oh, bloody hell. And uh, to keep things interesting, you will notice around the uh, around the map we have got these little arrows. Now they will change. They can, and as you get to some of the later tracks, uh, they can go up and down. So you're never quite sure where they might be, and that makes for a lot more exciting, uh, exciting kind of racing. Admittedly, this is the very, very first, the very, very beginnery track that we're going around at the moment. It is very, very straightforward, and it is. A, a case of a hold hold up on the left stick you will be driving forward you don't have to really worry about anything else however as the game progresses you can't just be flat out around every single corner it does get a lot more it gets a lot more technical a lot quicker than i was expecting it to oh no 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 you utter utter yeah many rude words to you uh, <laughs> that was oh no yeah there are power ups i can't do anything God damn it, I sat around at the front the entire way. You da. Damn. Well, I've got a lot of work to be doing. <laughs> there I was, thinking we were going to have an easy, easy opening race. But no, they managed to uh, fire a, I can't remember what it's called, some sort of electricity missile at me, and I died. Power-ups are fairly simple. Certainly the ones that I've seen so far. You have the missile that goes along the track that you are on so it doesn't home in on anybody it goes along the track that you are on so if you get yourself in the same lane as the leader you can fire it and it can go past two cars before it then hits the leader you have a mine that's fairly self-explanatory you can you can drop that one and cause trouble there is a speed boost there is also the jump that i had so you can jump over either cars or obstacles around the place second second track as you can see here we've immediately got a bit more technical Immediately got a bit more technical, and a lot of these kind of blockage area, I don't know what to call them, sort of roadblocks, are around blind corners. So it does help if you know the track a little bit, and then not only are they around blind corners, they also change as we go. Oh, oh that was close. That was really close. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you are side by side with a car and you go, of course, to try and turn, uh, you're just going to bounce off the side of them, and you can be... You know, held out wide by AI cars. You'll have to let off the throttle to uh, get yourself back into. Oh, I'm trying to remember where everything is. I'm doing a fairly good job so far. Uh, we got. Oh, okay. I had to say something. I had to open my mouth. Uh, <laughs> I was doing a fairly good job. I thought that was in a different lane. Oh no, cheeky sod is trying to block me. Uh, frame rate does have a little bit of issues from time to time with this, especially if lots of cars are crashing. <laughs> well, I held the AI out into the. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> into the obstacle. I should probably drop uh, the mine, otherwise there's no point just kind of carrying it around where there's lots of other pickups. Now I've got to remember where I put it, otherwise I don't want to be driving around and mining myself. Oh you, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, cheeky sword jumping across the lanes in front of me to block me. If you can time it right, yes, you can block AI cars with a well, uh, well positioned. Um, I think I must have hit my mind because it's not there anymore. With a well-positioned, well-positioned block, it's quite difficult for me as a human player. I think there is a look behind button. Uh, that's not look behind button. That's something else. There might be a look behind button somewhere. Uh, Got to get off that side pretty sharpish because I remember I mined it for myself. There we go. That was a little bit more like it. That was a lot more like it. In fact, I'm going to lap an AI car. Well, my AI car is going to lap a crashed AI car. We absolutely dominated that one. We're doing much better here. Fantastic. We are only a couple of points behind the championship leader. One thing I will say about this guy, I don't know how much we're going to see in, in this championship, certainly the first one that I played, has a really, really good job of mixing up the race results. It's not always the same car. And this is one of the criticisms I have about a lot of racing games. When they have championships, they like to have their AIs in a set order, and the same car will come either first or second, maybe full to third at best. Whereas this one here, admittedly, yeah, sure, you're only racing three other cars, but it really does like to mix up the finishing orders and so on. Which means if you have a bad race, it's not going to be your, your championship. You don't have to restart and go back through everything. Certainly, uh, with a lot of these older older racing games, they have been a, a little bit on the uh, on the arsier side for that kind of thing. However, yeah, I've, I've been really impressed, actually, with the with the AI in this. You know, they make mistakes. They, they fight for position and so on, which is always, always a very, very poor start from the car on the inside. Oh, crap! Oh. <laughs> Damn, I got held out wide. By the time I realised there was a roadblock, I tried to slow down, but it was too late. We were already going way too fast. Uh, we have jumped miles clear of any power-ups around there. Have we got any speed boosts? Oh, there's a speed boost. I didn't know if that was a speed boost or a, a car trail. Oh, lots of mistakes from AI cars. Now, I've got to be careful around this hairpin. Oh, we're on two wheels! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know they did that. That's quite cool. Uh, we were very much on two wheels. Ooh, I saw the opportunity for a speed boost. Yeah, see, they're ones that will go up and down. Uh, I don't know if it's a timed one. I think some are switched and some are some have like switches to, to activate them. Some are on a timer. It goes to the inside again. We're on two wheels. What car was I? I was driving. I think the American or sort of muscle car style vehicles, and I'm pretty sure they weren't going up on two wheels. That might be. Ooh. Piss. Ah, oh, god damn it. Trying to see what lane that thing is in at uh, inopportune moments. Right, so if we go, I'm going to fire my, my boost and get that. Woohoo! That is a chill. Oh, that was way too much speed into the hairpin. That was, that was way, way too much speed. <laughs> It was almost an amazing overtake. I, mean, I should I should stick bonus points for effort there. I'm pretty sure I just punted someone straight off the track and someone yeah, the green the green ring I believe is for changing if the signs are up or down. So yeah. They uh, they managed to get me good on that one. We are having to lift off the throttle uh, slightly for some of these tighter corners. Uh, we are onto the final lap. We've not had a good round this time out. Oh, although that was second place that we have just gone soaring past. Right, now launch ourselves. There we go. I had to just lift off the throttle briefly to make sure that uh, I made the corner. That was a very, very decidedly uh, dodgy turn. But we have made it. Right, so we can activate that. Uh, we are up into second. I'm going to try and fire the jump, make sure I clear all of those obstacles down there. We will cross the line in second place. However, my main championship rival is uh, there at the front again. So he's now pulled out, eked out a little bit of a lead. Typical, what I, what I said about the AIs are good at mixing up the results. We haven't quite had that this time out. It's just the way it goes sometimes with these races. We need to fire everything at Spirit. I think it's Spirit or Sprite. I'm not actually sure. Um... Yeah, fire everything at him. Unfortunately, I don't know what car it is. We'll just bully all of the AI cars equally and hope hope that they can get into their own crashing rhythm and that I can run away with a maybe victory. Yeah, I think that is the, <laughs> that is the best way to go. Unfortunately, much like a lot of these older driving games, loading times are quite, quite long on here. It's not quite as bad as city car driving. That, that's got some of the worst loading times I think I've ever seen, but uh, <laughs> this has got quite long loading times. Uh, this track is a little bit more involved. In fact, this track is a lot more involved. We loop our way round, we go through some fire, and still we loop out... Where is the start line? Somewhere. Uh, over... Not uh, there. No, that's not the start line either. Yeah, this is a, this is a long, <laughs> long track. There's a... I don't even know what that... I think it's a launchy jump pad. There's the start line. Okay, three-lap race around here. We need to take out 
one of you, well, all of you really, but one of you needs to have a bad race uh, in particular. All right, let's try and figure out. The first lap is often a, a useful one to try and figure out. Oh, I couldn't get across in time. Oh, I was trying to jump across in time to get the sign, the the sign picker uppery thingy me what's it so people would crash didn't work oh uh, spawning in cars ahead of me it really slowed me down although through all of that i think i have now come out with the lead oh i didn't want to do that uh, <laughs> didn't want to do that it's oh my car is on fire there's some very smoky caterums going on right now whoa dropping a okay there's environmental things as well i don't remember that being a thing so if i do that oh i thought it was the other way around i'm an idiot uh okay so yeah the angle that they were at from <laughs> From what I saw, I thought I could hit that and block off the car that was alongside me. Uh, I could not. I could not there. I was trying to be too clever at the end of all of that. Uh, we have got a charge, so if we do see a leader, if we see what lane the leader is in, we might be able to fire something at him. Now, I could do with him making a mistake. There's no real, no real visibility going on at the moment as to where he might be. Launch ourselves along there. Uh, we could just have a guess, and I might, if it comes to the next lap and I still haven't seen him, we'll just have a guess and hope. Hope for the best. Uh, that side there is the one that- Oh, there's another flag up there to keep out of the way of. Uh, not having to worry too much- Oh, I've missed the jump pad completely, that's not helpful. Where is he? Where is the leader? Please don't let it be the uh, main contender for the championship here, otherwise I will have another time through here with me coming in second. Oh no, we are in the lead now, so he must have had an accident. I've had an accident. Quickly, pick the car up, put it back on the track fast. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> he had an accident. I didn't see where he went. Obviously, it took a little bit of time to recover the car. Um, right, carefully does it around here. Now, because this is very much the case of I need to push. I need to push. You know, I need to make sure that I get victory. If there's any hope of me winning this championship, I have to win here. However, uh, I don't want to make a dumb mistake and find myself uh, down the order doing something silly. We will claim a victory. We'll just fire that off. Who is going to come second, though? That is the big question. Come on, please. Please let it be another random... Let it be Harrier. I think Harrier was one of them. Oh, no. It wasn't enough. It didn't tell me who came, but I think I'm assuming um, he was in second. Damn. It was a good championship, a good championship indeed, uh, around there. Not again, another second place. Uh, you play second. I, it, it was it was an effort. It was definitely an effort by me there to uh, to try and get through that one. Bloody typical. Yeah, typical the one time that I, well, when I start filming, I, I don't have a huge mix-up results. In in my previous one, I think I got like a third, a fourth, a first, and a second, and I still managed to come out second about a point behind the overall victor. So yeah, it really did. Um, uh, mess up the uh, mess up with the AI's finishing position. I had drove a lot cleaner that that time out, having had brief experience uh, with a couple of those tracks. Did a lot better now that I roughly knew where stuff was. Uh, shall we go and uh, have a look in the arcade mode? Uh, just so I can show off some different tracks. Really, uh, Japanese Twenty Four. Yeah, let's go for that. We've got Nitro and Hurricane. Let's go for Nitro. And we will go and have a look at the bedroom, the bedroom circuit. I haven't actually driven any of these, so I don't know what we're going to have to deal with here. Uh, I Again, I don't know whether this track starts having sort of loops and all sorts of crazy stuff. It could well. You know, that's half the fun with these kind of games. You can really go wild with the uh, the track layouts as uh, as you as you progress and get some much more difficult difficult uh, circuits. Sure, I'm going, I'm going with that one. Imagining this is going to get considerably tougher, and I haven't driven this track, so I'm not going to know where any of the things are to avoid. And yeah, well, let's hope I don't end up crashing too many tires. I mean, you've seen um, at least I have rolled a slot car, sort of fallen off the track rolling a slot car, but uh, it can be rolled so the game can properly be fail race approved. Uh, ooh, that's new. We've got oh, okay, we've got nasty sections going on. There's nasty bits, and then there's there's track changey bits and all sorts of possibilities uh, stuff to avoid i'm just, i'm guessing by the looks of it the uh, red like so the green lines on the track give you a speed boost the red lights i'm assuming would be a slowy downy thing so yeah we're gonna want to try and avoid them uh what have we got going on here okay so we're up the inside i can't do anything at this moment in time i can force a car out there though 
I need to find a way past. I don't know what those rings are changing. Oh, you cheeky git. Uh, <laughs> you very cheeky git through there. Okay, so these cars kind of just go, whoa, very, oh, I'm on the bad line. And these cars just go very, very sideways, whereas the caterers are actually going up on their side, which is quite entertaining. Um, we want to be, I think, to this way, possibly. Oh, no, he mined me. He mined me good. Well, I guess well played. Oh, okay, that's that's nasty. So there is another power-up I forgot about, but uh, that acts. It will force the car to stay in its lane which means that if you're in a lane that's, you know, about doomed to fall off the track, you are in trouble. And by the looks of it, that yellow line uh, is the equivalent of that power-up in, in, in line form. We have worked our way back up into second, at least, for this. Um, oh, there's a speed boosty bit on the outside there I should probably have gone for. I don't know which line... Ah, oh, I can't get off that one there quick enough. I should have been gone up the other side. Ah, oh, no! Didn't... So I've, clear, I've been the mine clearer for this. That's not very nice, is it, now? It's definitely, I think, quicker going. This way here looks like a shortcut unless there is a speed boost on the outside, which is possible, I guess. Had I realised that there was a mine in front of me, I could have, of course, used my uh, my jump power-up to clear it. I just didn't see it in time. Uh, shall we... Oh, wait, stay out there. Shall we stay to the left here? Because I'm not sure if there is a uh, boost track. Uh, oh, there's a blue track. I don't know what a blue track does. There is boosts all the way... Oh, that's nasty. There's boosts all the way up there, and then it changes to be a um, slow down -y bit. That's uh, a shame. The leader's taking the long way around for whatever reason. Oh, we're all wiggling and wiggling our way. We're going to try and move our way up into second place. This is a really close, <laughs> close race going on. Fire ourselves down that track. He's going to hold us out wide here. Uh, ah, okay, so that's what the blue stuff does. The blue stuff gives your car, like, super grip, so you can uh, be going sort of flat out around that section. So we're going to go up here. I don't know what the... Oh, no, no. That was that was the win. That was that was for the win and I've lost it completely. I carried way too much. I say way too much speed. It wasn't that much too much, but it was just a bit, just a bit. No, <laughs> we will we will jump out of frustration. Damn it. Uh, let's go on to the next track. That's a shame. Now it's going so well. It looked like we were going to have an amazing comeback. We were there fighting, fighting for the lead and... And then it all went a little bit wrong. Too much speed around a corner. And yeah, bye bye car. Well, this uh, next track is looking bumpy so far. <laughs> lots of elevation changes. Some odd uh, gaps around the place. We've got lots of lines to be dealing with. You're definitely going to want to be. Ah, we do have a loop. There we go. I thought we might. <laughs> This is probably looking like a Guitar Hero game at the moment, with all of the coloured lines on the screen. And there's, God, there the frame rate. It does not, does not like some of the, uh, some of the stuff. Yeah, if lots of cars crash off the track at the same time, the frame rate does have some, uh, some issues with keeping up with everything. Oh, I was in a good lane for that. Uh, I don't know what real difference hitting those things make to anything. I haven't figured it out. Oh, we want to go that way. Uh, oh, I don't. Okay, I, yeah, don't know what that is. Right, so blue line means we can be flat out. We have grip around the corner oh we're, oh god that's wibbly and wibbly and wibbly and there we go right ah interesting camera so we've got to try like here we've got to try and jump between the right lines although he did a much better job than i did doing that one but we are on the inside we're going to take the position i'm going to be the asshole that sits in front of him and <laughs> stops him from going anywhere uh, there is a boost line here which i'm going to sit on he's trying to uh, get to the outside of me he's not going to find a way past though at this moment in time. Now I do, oh crap, I do have a shield. Uh, I shouldn't have got really gone and jumped across to get that ring when there was a possibility of a, what's it called? Um, forgot, I completely forgot the name of what it was. It was a, boost, a boost track, wasn't there somewhere? All right, so we jump across there, time it all perfectly. This is going much smoother so far. And I, I should hasten to add so far. We saw the first race that was pretty much flat out everywhere, apart from dodging of the, um, dodging of the triangles, the AI cars will will fight back if they can. If one of them can get a charge at the inopportune moment for me, that, uh, that could cause me trouble. Uh, so let's let's hope not. Remember to jump over to this side. Uh, I don't actually think it makes any difference because they're all about even uh, number of slowdown. Oh, I've mistimed all of that. Ooh. Speaking of charges, there goes, there goes one of them. I have a shield now that will block uh, incoming power-ups, although I don't think I have any warning as to when they're coming. It's kind of a little bit of potluck, really, as to uh, as to what goes on. I'm just trying to figure out what these rings are. I'm sure they do something important, but I don't know what. I don't know whether they 
change the lanes like power-ups are on or something. Oh, <laughs> we just made the corner that time. Almost ended up having to go the long way around. Everyone gets slowed down through there. Dodge our way through that section. We are okay. I'm liking this third lane. This third lane is currently working out quite nicely for me. Control is vibrating away. I think it's just me going up and down the hills. It's not to indicate, not to indicate that anything terrible might be about to happen. As far as I can tell, there's no way to look behind. I don't really want to press too many random buttons while we are while we are going here. Right, so we hug that and then jump our way across quickly. Uh, this track is it's an interesting looking track. However, it's actually not that hard in terms of driving. I am just flat out everywhere. I think with it. It's, there's a lot of lane hopping that you've got to do to uh, maximise. I imagine with a much faster car, then things would be a lot different uh, around here with a lot of these corners. That is going to be the finish. We might as well fire off our shield there. He was a second behind. It's not too bad going from uh, from Hurricane. However, couldn't really do anything about uh, finding a way past. Sure, we'll go, and we'll go on the next track. I don't know what it's going to load up, because I don't think I unlocked any more. Let, let's go and see. Ah, right, it is just going to uh, take us back through these ones. Not particularly fussed about uh, <laughs> going around uh, that particular circuit. Shall we do... I'm going to do one more one more race. We'll go load up one of the uh, the dining room tracks. We'll try and find the most exciting of, of dining room tracks. Uh, or, or the one that I got screwed over on. Maybe we'll try that, see if we can rectify, rectify the, uh, the results there. To finish off, we're going to head back to this circuit. I've gone for the kind of American car section. Looks like I have got a uh, Mustang in this one. We're, we're racing against a police car. No, get out of the way, police car. I want to get the... Uh, oh, <laughs> couldn't get across in time to uh, get the secondary boost bit. Uh, there are... Ah, okay, so when we do this in arcade mode, we don't have any of the uh, blocking things around, apparently. Ah, okay. So that's the thing. That's the thing only for the uh, for the championship. So when you're doing arcade mode and so on, doesn't uh, doesn't have kind of a little bit of a shame actually. That's um, it's not as entertaining without the. Well, I say it's not as entertaining. It's a little bit easier to um, get around the tracks when when you don't have them randomly around the place. I think the exclamation mark that comes up. I thought it was like a, a warning of an incoming missile or something. But uh, I think it is actually a warning that you're about to spin out, that you're going too fast for the corner. Hey, that was a good overtake around the outside with our with our car there. Um, ooh, okay. Maybe that's what it is? I'm now not 100% sure? Hmm. Either way, uh, yeah, I, th I think it must be. Because for a second it did it around a slightly odd corner, but... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm still. If it starts coming up, I'm going to have to slow down. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to slow down. Oh, big jump there! I thought there was a mine there. Perhaps there wasn't. Shall we be really difficult? Yeah, I think I think it is then. Uh, <laughs> I thought I had slowed down enough for that. I'm guessing. Oh, we, second place went out as well. What lane you are when it comes to the hairpins will make a difference to how much speed you can take through them. Um, bugger! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There's nothing I can do here. And I think. Oh. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> okay, we can take a little bit more around here, a little bit more leeway. Hit that, get across, get the long boost pad all the way up the hill. This is a pretty cool, cool scale electric set, let's face it. I'd be perfectly happy having this uh, running around my house. Admittedly, this is far bigger than my house, I should think. Uh, however, I would uh, be very happy having a scale electric set like this uh, wrapped around my kind of landing-ish. It says living room, but this is more sort of upstairs, really, isn't it? Um... Yeah, what lane you are in around these corners does make a big difference as to how much speed you can take, which is pretty cool. Again, it's all sort of tactics coming in to play as we can now fire our way up the hill. Yeah, around the outside you'll take more speed because it's not as tight a recorder, but it's a longer... Uh, there's a mine... Uh, there's a mine there, they just vanished. Uh, on the outside you'll take more speed around the corner, but it is a longer way around. So there we go. That's a huge slide as well <laughs> from, the, uh, from the Mustang. Uh, if we go hit that and then try and jump our way across, yeah. So you can try and carry carry maximum speed by jump, like hitting the boost and then jump your way across to the outside, so you can keep flat out around the turn. There we go. That's a bit more, a bit more like it. We're uh, uh, almost four seconds clear at uh, at the front of that one. Yeah, that was some uh, Groove Rider slot car racing. Is actually actually an awful lot of fun. 
I really, I really like all of the uh, the mechanics on this one. Entertaining races. It's made, you know, slot car racing exciting. Yes, it is relatively old and does seem to run a bit like crap when lots of cars crash. The frame rate has has, has some issues. It's certainly not unplayable though, and for most of the time, it's uh, it's running okay. I'm glad I'm finding these random old guys. Like, I, I never. I think I'd heard of this one, but never, you know, never really played it before. It's quite entertaining going back and seeing uh, all of the different sort of racing stuff that uh, that came out. It's a shame there's not things like a track creator, etc., on here. I don't actually know. What should we have a look before we go? Shall we look under special? I haven't got any. I haven't unlocked any of these. Um, yeah, I'll have to complete various stuff. But uh, yeah, for for the age of game, I think this one cost me it's about 75p from CEX, so practically nothing really, and quite a lot of entertainment to uh, to be had with this. I'm sure I probably brought back nostalgia for some of you guys that will have uh, played this plenty uh, in your childhood. However, that is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.